Welcome back, and today we're actually doing a mermaid Halloween tutorial here, as you may see, including gills as well. So if you like what you see, keep on watching and you yourself can actually find out how you do it. If you enjoy the video, give it a little like and subscribe because we will have more Halloween tutorials coming very soon. Enjoy! Alrighty, so first of all, I'm just going ahead and covering my entire face and portions of my neck with a light blue Snazaroo paint. With Snazaroo, I found, to be honest, it does require a few layers. After I brushed it on here, I actually just sponged it out a little bit just to add a few extra layers and thicken it up a bit so you couldn't see my own skin tone underneath there. So once you're happy with the overall blue tone and you're starting to look a little bit like a sexual smurf, this is when we move on to the latex. I didn't manage to record how I made the latex pieces but all it literally is is just a layer of latex, then a layer of tissue paper on top of that and then more latex. I let it dry, lifted it off and then I just basically cut the ends so it looked sort of almost like a squiggly line. The latex pieces themselves don't really take that long to make, I mean it's fairly quick drying, it's mainly the application process that takes the longest. I didn't have anything to secure it down I'm afraid so I had to go ahead and start using latex as well to secure it, hence why you know I'm painting up my face with latex. So latex is not exactly the nicest thing to work with, it's rather foul smelling to be honest. And on top of that, the reason why my eyes closed at the moment is because of the fumes, it's actually making me cry. <laughs> so obviously a sensitive skin, anything like that, I would advise trying to skip the sort of latex pieces part because it will cause maybe irritation or something like that. If you do have more experience when it comes to latex prosthetics, anything like that, obviously I'm not a wizard at this kind of thing, but if you do have the sort of knowledge then obviously you can make it look a lot better and sort of thin out the edges so you can't actually see the connection lines. Once the latex pieces are on it'll be time for contouring lot of contouring for this look so it'll be the temples of the head around the forehead, the jawbone as well as under the cheeks and around the nose and under the lip as well. You will see how it turns out in a couple of minutes. The colour I'm using for contouring here is three different shades of blue but to be honest any blue colour that you've got at hand just as long as it's darker than the paint will do fine. And this is what it looks like once we've finished contouring. What we're going to be doing is painting the gills. To be honest, I would advise doing this step before you apply it to the face, mainly because it's a lot more fiddly as you'll be able to see here. What we'll be doing is the top gill, we'll be doing some purple at the tip of the gill there, and on top of that I'll be placing a pink shimmer eyeshadow. Once I've placed the shimmer eyeshadow, I'm literally just going to be smudging it up a little bit, just to blend it out a little bit. Latex keeps on sticking to the, the lower gill there, so I just need to keep pulling it apart every now and again. In between the gills, I'm just going to put a dark sort of tulip colour, just to bring out that sort of fleshy tone. And underneath the bottom gill as well, I'm also going back in with that dark tulip colour. On the bottom gill, I'm just going in with the purple grease paint again, uh, just the, the bottoms there. But instead of the pink colour that I used before, I'm just going to use a dark purple colour instead. The purple I'm using as well is also a shimmer colour, and it's just the same as before. I'm just going to be smudging it out a little bit. As I said before, I would definitely advise to do the makeup on the latex pieces before you apply them. The only reason I'm doing it this way is just so you can see roughly the colouring that you should be using for the pieces themselves.
I'm doing a little bit of stenciling here. All I'm doing is literally using the front of an air freshener. It's got these sort of weird round bobble designs on it, so I thought, why not use it? Now, all I'm doing is literally pressing it against my face and putting on a light pink shimmer colour. And to be honest, it came out really nicely, so... To be honest, when it comes to stencils, try and look for stuff that you can find in your home. Air fresheners are probably one of the best because they do have some funky designs and detachable covers for you to use. Now with the stenciling, you'll be going along your jaw, just on your cheek there, and the forehead especially as well. You don't need to use the pink colour if you don't want to. You can use yellow, orange, any of the colours in this tutorial are completely interchangeable. Just going over my eyelid here in sort of like a light teal colour. It's slightly similar to the Snazaroo face paint. Now I'm just going ahead to copy the eyelid I've already done and I'm just going out to create a fake eyelid with a black Barry M Dazzle Dust. Now with the black I'm just going sort of along the contour of the nose. I go into the eyebrow as well and I'm literally just sort of feathering it out along my sort of eye ridge there. I'm also using, it's basically just a sort of royal blue liquid eyeliner and I'm putting that through the eyebrows there just to give them some more definition. Again with the Barry M Black Dazzle Dust there, I'm just going in to select certain little round circle bits of the pattern that I created and I'm just creating a little bit of shading there. Now the lips I did already do previously but I had to give them a little bit of touch up and all I literally did was took sort of a teal blue colour and it just goes on the edge of the lip and it's sort of like an ombre lip. I'll only do the bottom lip and not the top and I give it a little bit of a touch up in the middle there with a white dazzle dust. Now I end up putting a little bit of the stencil on my nose and after I was finished with that I'm using the Barry M White Coal Eyeliner for this bit and all I'm doing is just the wee sections in between the stencil um, bringing out the pattern a little bit more by putting the white through there. You don't need to go through all of the pattern if you don't want to, but I just kind of thought it does bring out the general pattern, especially in the darker areas of the contouring. I do like the effect that this actually created. It was completely by chance that it happened, but it sort of looks like the same thing that happens when sunlight hits water and it gives that sort of weird multi-dimensional sort of colour tone to water. Now once I'm finished with the sort of detailing there I just go on the cupid's bow of my lips and just up the sides of my pilchrum as well. That is our makeup look pretty much done. This one you can have so much fun with, you can change the colours, you can sort of add more detail, take detail away, and it was just so much fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.